Reggie Watts isn't here tonight. He's away. He's had to head out of town. So, uh, yeah, just, hey, this is a great opportunity, Bad. Yeah. You know, maybe he never comes back. <laughs> you feel that slot, Steve-O? You think you got it in you? Yeah, man. <laughs> no. We so Reggie. close. Exactly. You were so close, and you really ruined it in two words. <laughs> have you seen, have you watched the trailer for this for Jamie Lee Curtis's new film? It's it just it's it's, it's, it's it. oh my you saw it last night. Yeah. You saw the actual film. Yes. Yeah. Is, is it as good as I think it is? Yes. Yeah. A everyone in that is twisted up in this show will love this. Yeah, I cannot wait to see it. It's, it involves the multiverse, right? Absolutely. Do you think there's other versions of you out there? Not, not only do I believe that there are other versions of me out there, I believe that one of them is a guest on the show today, and his name is Chris Pine. Right. <laughs> Yeah. It's got to be difficult for you when Chris is on the show. Because people know he's in the... And then people are like, hey, Chris. You know, no, no, it's Ian. Yeah, Sorry. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's been crazy all day. People are like, you're here early. And I'm like, I'm actually here pretty late. Yeah. <laughs> Correct. Yeah. I yeah, wonder yeah. if there are other versions of us. You know when Neil deGrasse Tyson was here uh, yeah. last time he was on the show, he freaked me out when I was asking him about this very thing. And he just went to me, you know... Ants in an ant farm don't know that they're in an ant farm. They think that ant farm's the world. And then he went, the chances of you being here right now are so slim, it's almost certain that none of this is happening. <laughs> and then he went, have a good show. <laughs> <laughs> Look, we could talk like this all night. Would it be fun? Yes. Would the viewers at home be entertained. Of course they would, but we have a duty, a sacred duty, and that duty is to educate, to inform, which means it's that time, it's time for the news. <laughs> and tomorrow, an FDA advisory committee will be meeting to discuss the timing of future COVID boosters. There's talk of moving to an annual single booster. Pfizer and Moderna are pushing for a fourth dose. We know more of them are coming. We just don't know when we're going to get them. Booster shots are basically like Avatar movies. <laughs> <laughs> Pfizer and Moderna have both pushed the committee to approve a fourth dose. Meanwhile, Johnson & Johnson is like, whatever, I didn't want to be part of this stupid discussion anyway. <laughs> I do wonder what FDA meetings are like. The agenda must be like, OK, booster shots. We've got a new kind of Doritos that makes your teeth glow in the dark. <laughs> And we're going to have a long conversation about erectile dysfunction medication. <laughs> in other COVID health news, scientists now say a chemical compound found in broccoli and other leafy greens has been shown to slow the growth of COVID-19 as well as common cold viruses. I cannot wait to take on the world armed with this new information that vegetables are good for you. <laughs> I read this, I was like, yeah, nice try. I'm still not paying $17 for a farm-to-table salad. <laughs> the compound is particularly abundant in broccoli, cabbage, kale and Brussels sprouts. The real winner here, cabbage. <laughs> Good for cabbage, hanging out with the bougie glamour veg. <laughs> know what I mean? Kale and Brussels sprouts. Ka Brussels sprouts. What, a, what an absolute glow-up they have had. <laughs> Has anything had a quicker turnaround than Brussels sprouts? It's unbelievable. No one was interested. It's then bang, we're roasting them, we're crisping them. What, what are you saying, Rob? I've said this before. Oh it's, no, I was saying to Lauren, don't get Ian started on Brussels sprouts. Oh, why not? Why not? Get I Ian? happen. I happen to have an interesting Brussels sprouts fact. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> I happen to have a Sorry. pretty interesting fact about Brussels sprouts. Yeah, just to be clear, yeah. I just want you to remember, this is being filmed. Yeah. And you just said out loud, I have an interesting <laughs> Brussels sprouts fact. Yeah. Okay, go on, hit, hit us with it. Brussels sprouts, which when, like, we were kids and older viewers, when they were growing up, tasted disgusting, everybody hated Brussels sprouts, they strategically, through selective breeding, removed the enzyme that makes them gross as hell, and that's why Brussels sprouts are good now. But isn't it just that we're cooking them? <laughs> but it's not just they remove the enzyme. We started cooking them no. in a myriad of ways. No. Well, no, don't That's just say... Oh, you think they just discovered butter in, like, 1997? <laughs> 
I came a little harder than I meant to on yeah, that. Yeah, you did. <laughs> Very hot. I kind of think they did. I think we just started shredding, no. roasting. Isn't that like no. fresh versus canned? Yeah. Well, it it's too. also not that. It's the enzyme. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just you. never saw this as like this is the hill you'll die on. It's not. It's not. I'm not. I'm not necessarily ready to die on this hill. It just happens to be a really tall hill, and nobody can climb it. I'm at the top. <laughs> But I don't think it's just the removal it of this. <laughs> well, there you go. Right. Hey, we promised you news and you got some. Yeah. Uh, here's, here's a new story. Later this week, Tesla will be opening its new billion dollar Austin, Texas headquarters, known as the Giga Factory. And Elon Musk plans to celebrate the opening with a 15,000 person invitation only festival he's calling Giga Fest. It's going to be headlined by Lady Giga. <laughs> It just, it just wasn't good. That's, yes, no, you're right. And that's why I, well, no, it's too late now. Let me try it again. It's gonna be headlined by Lady Giga. <laughs> Wait for me, yeah, exactly. So when I do that, don't make it too big. Just a little. No, bigger than that. No, not that. It's like, that's like something from Whiplash. <laughs> it's gonna be headlined by Lady Gaga. No, I didn't do it! I didn't! <clears throat> Try and make me look good. I do that every time I'm, I'm on the stage. Try and make me look good. Mother-in-law's in tonight. <laughs> Over there. Only person who didn't... No, she won't want a microphone. Don't go near it. She'll, she'll bat that away quicker than you've ever seen. <laughs> I hear it's headlined by Lady Giga. <laughs> OK, no, 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 it's too much. Forget it, forget it. The Giga Fest will include food, alcohol and live entertainment. This festival sounds like Coachella, but for people who shower with their Bluetooth in. <laughs> A party in a factory feels just like a way to trick people into giving free labour. Doesn't it? Like, all right, everyone take a shot and then pull these levers. <laughs> yeah, sick. <laughs> what do you think you'd find in a billion dollar Elon Musk factory? Labour violations. <laughs> And did everybody hear about this? A dentist in Wisconsin has been convicted of intentionally breaking his patient's teeth so he could get paid to fix them, and he made millions of dollars doing this. This would be like if your therapist started every session by saying, saying that everybody hates you and you're a stupid little dork. <laughs> The man faces a possible 10 years in prison for each count of healthcare fraud. F bless you, Cece. Five <laughs> for each false statement, and another five for using bubblegum mouth rinse, not minty, even though the patients were adults. <laughs> Here's some news from my homeland. In honour of the Queen's Platinum Jubilee weekend in June, British pubs will be allowed to stay open two hours later than usual. As if pubs closing ever stopped Brits from drinking. <laughs> They're doing this mostly because it's fun to listen to drunk people try and say Platinum Jubilee. <laughs> I like the idea, I like picturing the idea of the Queen getting kicked out of a pub. Like, screw you! <laughs> it's all closed when I say it's closed, let's get a kebab. <laughs> it's actually a very good impression. <laughs> And we wanted to tell you about this. According to a recent study, 90% of Americans have a co-worker that annoys them. Yeah. <laughs> If you're in that 10% that doesn't have one, you're the annoying co-worker. <laughs> According to the survey, the three most annoying co-worker habits are interrupting during virtual meetings, taking credit for someone else's work, and being Nick Bernstein. <laughs> no, 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 no. I just want to say, I just want to say, I know we got the news and it's real busy. We all had to sit here and listen to a 10-minute conversation about Brussels sprouts, we're not allowed to leave. I'm the annoying one. <laughs> if you were, 
If your ponytail ass doesn't bring up that Brussels sprouts fact at a dinner party in the next six months, correct? I, I will, I will give you ten million dollars. That's. <laughs> 100%. Um, according to the study, people find it annoying when co-workers interrupt. Do you think that's true, Ian? I, I don't, don't think it is. <laughs> and finally... <laughs> a Cadillac limousine now holds the Guinness World Record for the longest car in the world. Here it is here. The limo is over 100 feet long. It features a helipad, putting green and swimming pool. But, get this, it's too long to drive because it can't make turns. So it's less of a car and more of just a <laughs> train. <laughs> Look at that, it's just a <laughs> train. That's all it is. I like that they've put American flags on the hood, like, just in case you weren't sure which country would make the biggest, <laughs> most impractical car in the world. Now, you look at a 100-foot-long car like that, seems a bit excessive, until you realise this is the guy who owns it. Oh. <laughs> we'll be right back with more of The Late Late Show, everybody. <laughs>